In today's video, we are going to massage the whole face and neck area. Here we will try to work the main muscles of the face. This massage is not deep, so you can do it every other day. But be sure to watch the changes that occur with your face. So the periodicity of the massage for everyone is individual. I'm just giving you an average. Use a small amount of oil or cream. Sometimes during the massage, I apply the cream not on my face, but on my fingers. Step 1. Form a fold and work on the back of the neck. It may be a little painful, because usually the muscles in this area are in constant hypertonus. Step 2. Now work with the area of the trapezium muscle. The movements are deep enough, not superficial. Step 3. Stretch the lateral neck muscle, tilt your head sideways and spread your arms to different sides. Step 4. Push your shoulders down as far as possible and tilt your head to the sides. Feel the lateral neck muscle stretching.
Step 5. Pull the platysma downward and lift your chin up. And bring your lower jaw slightly forward. In this way, you will create maximum tension of the platysma. Uh, this is a very effective technique. Step 6. Now move to the lower third of the face, fix the chin and move from the center to the periphery. The mandibular bone should be between your fingers. You should be able to feel it. Step 7. Let's work the area under the lower jaw, the sublingual muscle and the double chin. In this area we have very weak and loose muscles. And in addition to that excess fluid accumulates there. Step 8. Get rid of excess fluid, not only from the lower part of the face, but also from the forehead. Step 9. Relax the chin. The condition of the chin is very important for the way our face looks.
Step 10. Massage the chin with the knuckles. Step 11. Stretch the circular muscles of the mouth and finish the motion under the zygomatic bone. Step 12. Relax the circular muscles of the mouth. Pay attention to the modules. Step 13. We make deep needy motions on the lateral nasal muscle. The deeper, the better. and then move under the zygomatic bone. Step 14. With one hand, fix the soft tissues, and with the other hand, make lifting motions from the center to the periphery.
Step 15. Need and massage the supraorbital arches. Step 16. Move along the orbital bone in the direction of lymphatic fluid movement. Don't apply strong pressure. Ensure a good glide. and hold for a few seconds at the base of the eyebrow and apply pressure. Step 17. In this way, we stretch the frontal belly of occipital frontal muscle. We make deep vibrating motions. Step 18. Make zigzag motions. Don't forget about the frown lines area. Step 19. Pay attention to the hairline. This is where the aponeurosis often sticks to the hairline, which leads to swelling on whole face and wrinkles on the forehead. And finally, let's work with the whole aponeurosis. 
try to make it movable and get rid of the sticking and adhesions. The state and condition of the aponeurosis determines how our face looks. Uh, but don't try to do it all at once. Uh, you can work on the aponeurosis every day. I do hope you enjoy this massage and please don't forget to like this video so I know that my videos are useful for you. Take care and bye for now.